Hi guys, last month I was in Italy together with my fiance to visit our wedding venue for next year and we had the amazing opportunity to go truffle hunting. We did this with Gabrielle, Francesco and their dog Rusty and we were in luck because it was the first day of the white truffle season. There are six kinds of truffles that we can use in the kitchen. You have white and burgundy truffles from September to December, winter black truffles from December to early March, Bianchetti truffle in February and March, and a summer black and a summer white truffle from May to August. This time we're looking for the last black summer truffles and the first white truffles. We quickly found six nice summer truffles. They were already quite hard because it has been a very dry summer, but the smell was still incredible. And it may have been a dry summer, but that was definitely not the case today. It was pouring, and because of the camera gear we had to find shelter in the car. Francesco showed us some pictures of his dogs, and to hear the bond that they share was really incredible. Then we decided to drive to a part of the forest where they always find white truffles. After 30 more minutes the rain stopped and we were good to go. Rusty has been trained from puppy on to track the truffle smell and dig up the truffles. Once he locates a truffle, Francesco first smells the soil. He does this to check if the truffle is ripe and ready to be harvested. If the smell isn't there yet, he'll leave it and come back later on to check again. We then found two beautiful white truffles. The smell was so strong and flavorful, but unfortunately they were rotten and very soft. So in the end we found a dozen of black summer truffles and of course I needed to cook something with these beauties. We're going to cook some delicious gnocchi with quail and porcini. So first the gnocchi. Start by peeling 600 grams of potatoes. Now cut them in even pieces. After that transfer them into a pan and cover them with cold water. Add some salt for seasoning and boil the potatoes still cooked. Meanwhile clean some porcini mushrooms. For this, trim the stem of the porcini and then wash them under cold water or in salted water. Then cut them in half and keep them for later. Now back to the gnocchi. Drain the cooked potatoes and let them steam for at least 5 minutes. Then use the back of a spoon to press the potatoes through a fine sieve. Do this when still hot. Now mix 500 grams of the mashed potatoes with 2 egg yolks and 100 grams of flour. Knead this until it's a nice dough. Then dust your worked up with flour and roll out the dough into thick lines. Now cut the dough into bite sized pieces. Then roll the dough on a fork or a gnocchi board to make the traditional gnocchi lines. Now the quill. First make a small incision in the legs and snap your joints. Then cut the legs off and do this as well with the bottom part. After that season the quill all around with some salt. Now heat up a frying pan and add a splash of oil. Then start frying the legs and the quill trimmings on the skin side. Now turn them around and add the quill breast and pan fry them all around till golden. Then add a nut of butter together with some sage, rosemary and some cloves of garlic that I've cut in half. Now baste the quill for a minute or two and then let them rest for at least 5 minutes. Meanwhile boil the gnocchi in some salted water till they start to float. Then drain them and pan fry them in the same pan that we just used to pan fry the quail. Once they start to color, add the porcini mushrooms. Then season with salt and add a nut of butter. Pan fry till golden on all sides. Now take the quails and cut the breast off the bone. And yes, the knife is very blunt, but yeah, I didn't bring any cooking gear on this trip so everything I use is already in the apartment. So I don't have a skill, nothing. So be gentle with me. Now we can plate the gnocchi and then grate some parmesan cheese on top. Place the porcini on top of the gnocchi and also add the quail and decorate with some pan fried sage. And then it is ready to be served with of course the beautiful black truffle. Ok guys the dish is done, I hope the quality of the, of the microphone is ok because it's a pretty far distance but I wasn't able to bring my little uh, wireless microphone. Um, so we're just doing it this way, um, super happy with the dish, it isn't something that's really fine dining, spectacular, but the flavors are definitely there with the parmesan cheese, obviously the truffle, um, yeah, finding my own truffle, um, that's so so cool and it was so much fun to do, um, with the rain and everything it made it look like, uh, like a freaking fairy tale. And then to find the first 
white truffle of the season was even more special. Um, unfortunately, like I already said, it was a bit rotten, so we weren't able to eat it. But finding it, the excitement that went through my body was like, yeah, I went out, I went to another universe. I was so, so, so happy and stoked to find that. Um, but yeah, the gnocchi look amazing. They are beautifully golden and crispy and soft on the outside. The porcini mushroom, yeah, that's always, always fun and always very nice. Um, yeah, so let's just dig in. The quail has a beautiful cuisine. Um, I'm also must say the dish right now because we had to move the table and everything into the vineyard is super cold but I am pretty sure the flavor is still there so let's just take a lot of truffle a lot of truffle a lot of truffle I have more truffle over here so I can just shave more on top mm. that's super good yeah. The flavors are beautiful. Like I said, nothing fine dining, but just good food. And yeah, this, this is really wonderful and super delicious. Um, we're gonna have another glass. We're gonna eat this and we're just gonna enjoy. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's something a little bit different than usual. Um, but I really had a lot of fun making it and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. So please let me know in the comments what you think, like and share the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And as always, buon appetito!